started here as a maintenance technician. I had worked on Pierce County projects through a manufacturer. We had seven people on the maintenance staff. We had a small shop up where the environmental services building was. I was an unemployed iron worker. I went back to uh, Fort Stillicum Community College and worked as a seasonal employee on the golf course. And that turned into a full-time position in 1983. This site here, there was a 300-foot mountain of sand in front of us because this was a live mining site at that time. So no golf course. <laughs> when I first started, there was no Foothills Trail. There was no Heritage Park. There was no fantasy lights. Everything's changed. Well, when I first came here, I came here from Everett, Washington. I drove down 512 and I thought, why did they put a freeway here? <laughs> this freeway's empty. I understand why now. I think parks are huge for the community. I mean, when they're building six homes per acre, nobody really has a yard to play in anymore. There's not a lot to do unless you can get to a park. And of course, our parks are busy, very busy. One of the big milestones is obviously Chambers Creek Treatment Plant. The last upgrade was about six years ago. It was a $350 million upgrade. We have 750 miles of sewer lines that we maintain. So we're bringing wastewater from all over the county. I mean, ultimately, our goal here is to keep the water clean. I enjoy the work. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy the outside work. I could be uh, 60, 70 feet in the air at a, on a light tower over at Sprinker one day, and I could be three or four feet in a ditch the next day fixing septic lines. It's not hard to be motivated here. There's challenges every day. I get bored with things pretty quick. So here I've been challenged throughout the entire 40 years. We're always building something. We're always looking at new technologies. We're always innovating. So being the longest one right now, I'm able to share a lot of knowledge. We have a lot of new people just trying to figure out where things are, uh, why they are. I hope to just share the knowledge. I don't want to take it with me, it won't do me any good. I enjoy the people that work here. If you have a good group of people that are a positive force, you can do great things.